Carmen to the Middle of the Mental Health Team. And we thought about a year ago we'd need to redesign our mental health services. We realised what we were doing wasn't working. So we had to find a new way of working, which is working alongside the community rather than social work and health to deliver all the services. So how we can get the community involved to improve their own mental health and support them to do that. So about a year ago we started up our steering group. So that's members of the community, the fire brigade, the navy, various other people um, that are interested and we decided to apply for a big lottery grant to create a post for a development worker here that would make links with the community to try and develop the services that we're, we're trying to achieve. So we got that, we got nearly 100,000 for the two year period. So that's been advertised just now and been interviewed at um, I think it's the 8th of August. So we will have um, a development working post to try and, I suppose, to try and deliver the services that, that we're looking to, to create here. We were looking to, to have uh, developed sort of support services here, uh, external to what uh, the NHS and social work are providing. Um, so we're looking at trying to have services provided here and also peer support provided here, uh, and then try and develop that further. Uh, we'll kind of we'll be working uh, kind of almost in the background to that and help support people with that support the workers as well. So I suppose the main groups that we're looking to deliver are, um, there'll be art groups, there'll be Tai Chi, mindfulness, um, there'll be lots of work outside in the garden, we've got an allotment group, we've got the branching out group, and again it's developing this peer support, um, I think integral to that we're going to have a members um, one cafe in here, so there'll be a cafe for members so that the people that want to come will be working in the cafe. Uh, provides meaningful activity for people. Uh, developing their skills, and yeah. working with people, developing their social skills and communication skills, and hopefully getting some sort of certification for doing coursework as well. We're kind of trying to tie in with the uh, Highland and Islands University, is that yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we'll try to tie in with them so they can provide uh, sort of education here as well. More a self referral, but we'll, we'll be speaking to the GPs and getting them to promote the cert. The, the, the body as a place for people to come and get support. But we're hoping it'll be more uh, self referral. And then also, we'll be, as a, as a community mental health team, we'll be directing people towards here as well. Yeah. So it's not, yeah, it's not to replace that to the service, I suppose it's just to, to increase um, community resilience. Uh, people will self-refer, it's not just for people that are chronic and acute mental illness, it's for people that are isolated in the community, disconnected from the community and want to improve their mental health. And we see this as almost a starting point, people will come here, they'll get strength-based assessments and goals identified to move forward and hopefully they will then be in a position where they can move out the service and, and don't need to be involved in mental health service. It's almost a preventative approach and for the community to self-manage. TSI have been supporting us at Enable um, are, are highly involved in this. We'll be redesigning our services so that it, and historically our support workers would be Enable workers that get into the community to support people but we're moving towards the Enable providing services here and supporting groups to support each other. Also the uh, Carers Project, the Navy obviously is a huge Navy presence here so yeah. there's a Navy input and we're looking to provide what specific services are required to support people from the Navy's mental health as well. So that will almost the, the next stage really when we get a development worker in. Also, there's a welcome cafe and it's already got premises within mm -hmm. Helens, but we will have links with them. Hopefully we can replicate that and kind of service here as well. There's also a website that's getting developed, so all the information's here. And if people would fill out a self-referral or somebody would refer, drop off um, the referral form here or email it. And Enable would contact them, do a strength-based assessment and then, if appropriate, they'd become a member and be able to access the resources here. Yeah, there'll be volunteering opportunities because we want the community to support each other. So uh, we'll be doing that in conjunction with TSI um, and there'll be opportunities in the garden. DIY, there's always lots of things being done. Men should have expressed an interest in, in supporting yeah, us as so well. There was a branching out program uh, who do a lot of outdoor activities and they've, they've been they've done all that and done things like this as well but, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the wicker man uh, so they've, they've had a lot of input and they're going to continue and there'll be follow-on groups for them so they'll hopefully start their base will be formed here